Hello everyone. So today we'll be take a look on topic one, which is introduction and interface of Microsoft Excel. For today's lesson, the learning outcome will be to understand the concept of Microsoft Office Excel and to identify the components of the Microsoft Office Excel ribbon. So take a look on the concept of the Microsoft Excel. This is a powerful spreadsheet application that allows and permits users to organize the data properly. Not just that, you might be able to complete the desired calculations, make decisions based on the data entered. Attractive graph data for presentation can also be created. Not just that, provide a professional report and publish these professional reports on the web also can be a good thing when you use a Microsoft Excel and you may access real time from the selected website. So now we want to take a look on the introductory page for Microsoft Excel. So we just open the Microsoft Excel, a blank Microsoft Excel, and there will come up something like this. And this is what we call introductory page, which you on your left, there we have the home new documents that you want to create. Open some of the workbook account related to your account. Click back as well as some of the options. And in the middle here, you're gonna see the templates where when you click more templates, we have the black doc workbook template and also we have some of the templates here that might be useful for you to choose related to your desire and then we have a recent uh, document or workbook that you have opened before we have theme documents or workbook and some of the workbook also has been shared with you so for today, I would like to open a blank document. At first, we take a look on the interface of the workbook or the worksheets here. This is what we call a worksheet, which you can find it from here. And then this worksheet consists of few ribbons, which it consists of file, consists of home, insert tab, Page layout, formulas, data, review, view, and help. Each of these uh, ribbon tab has their own uh, features. And then we have here is a, we call it as a name box, or also it can be called as an active cells reference, which this active cell reference is a combination of the row heading and column heading where did you get the coral row heading and column heading is a b c d the alphabetic is what we call as a column heading these one two three the numbers here we consider it as a row heading what is in this we we want to talk about an active cells reference so this one when we click this it shows that B is the column heading and 2 is the row heading, which these active cells will show you B2. And with this, when you click this one, you may enter the data that you desire. For example, Microsoft Excel. And it will come up at B2. But then, if let's say I want to go for another option to key in the data, also can by using this one. This is what we call a formula bar. With this formula bar, also, it's the same functions like 
previously when you key in the enter uh, key in the data either you want to click this one the uh, active sales reference or you want to click this one and then key in the data here in formula bar for example excel 2022 and then click enter so means that this one already been used for row 3 column d and then not just that we also have some features here we take a look on sheet which this each sheet is under one workbook the name of the workbook is a book one excel in sheet one you may also add another sheet might be have a different functions or uh, functions of the other point re or requirements of the document you go for sheet one or maybe you go for the sheet two for example sheet one is related to the list name and then sheet two may be related to the background of the candidates and many more so that is why this sheet within uh, the sheets within the workbook has the significant value then when we take a look here then we go for each of these ribbon features so at in home tab we have undo features a feature clipboard font alignment number styles cells editing analysis and sensitivity insert we have tables charts tours spotlights filter links comments text and symbols in page layout we have teams page setup scale to fit sheet options and arrange in formulas we have function library define names formula auditing and calculation in data it has some of the features like get and transform the data queries and connections data types sort and filter data tools forecast outline and analyze in review we have proofing accessibility insight language commands notes protect and in view we have sheet view we have workbook views we have show zoom window and macros last but not least help we have help and the community each of these features has their own function which we might explore for the next topic so that's all related to topic